Hello and welcome to IT Army. In this video, I'm going to take a question asked by Alex and he says that I have two partitions and both are 100% free. One of them is EFI partition that is 100 megabytes and the other one is the recovery partition that is 980 megabytes. So can he assume that they are empty and delete them both? So without further ado, let's get started. So if I log into Windows and this Windows is installed in EFI mode. So if I right click my start button and go on to disk management and there you're going to see all the partitions. So I have only one disk over here, disk zero, and it is showing over here three different partitions. The very first partition that you are seeing is 100 megabytes EFI system partition. This partition is the most important partition. So from here you can see that it is showing it is 100% free but it is not actually so when you boot into the EFI mode it looks for a EFI file from this partition so if you delete that you won't be able to boot into the operating system and it also contains the boot configuration database that contains the entries for what all boot partitions you are having and where is the recovery environment sitting so if you delete this you won't be able to boot it now the size it could depend if you do the fresh windows 10 installation or windows 11 installation it will be roughly 100 megabytes but some manufacturers they create this partition around 250 megabytes also so it could vary depending on the manufacturer second thing that is over here this is the healthy recovery partition that contains the recovery environment so in case if you are not able to successfully boot into the operating system it will automatically take you to the recovery environment now the question again over here that this is showing as 100 percent free can we delete it or not uh, it depends actually if you delete it you won't be able to factory reset your pc so it doesn't contain the factory reset image but it's actually the recovery environment that you boot into and then it performs the, the factory reset operation so now depending on some of the laptops if you do some old version of windows 10 installation it might create a smaller size and then as you upgrade it may be that partition is not big enough and then windows automatically create one more recovery partition so you may need to decide that if you have two recovery partitions which one you should be able to delete so you can find using a command line utility so if i go on to command prompt if i open the command prompt and over here i can use reagency space forward slash info and that's giving me error over here because i am not running as administrator so just close it and type in cmd and select run as administrator and now entering the same command here recovery agent space forward slash info so reagency space forward slash info don't forget to put space before forward slash info and then it's going to show you that you have uh, disk zero and the recovery is sitting on partition number four so actually graphically it's showing only three partitions over here but we have also one more very small uh, msr microsoft reserve partition that doesn't get showed up over here but this is the partition that it is talking about where your recovery partition or recovery image is sitting and the size of this is again depends on in a fresh windows 10 installation it will be somewhere around 500 to 600 megabytes and some manufacturers create by default of 1 gb also so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video